Ahead of World Refugee Day on June 20th, the UN Refugee Agency reported there are an estimated 12,160 refugees and asylum seekers in Turkey, approximately 32 percent of whom are Iranians. In Iraq, there are said to be 42,300 refugees and 2,400 persons seeking asylum. Of those, 11,100 refugees and 1,800 asylum seekers are Iranians. Many Kurds have fled Iran and moved to northern Iraq, southeast Turkey, and Jordan, where they often receive anything but a warm welcome. Kurdish refugees are routinely placed in refugee camps, sent back to Iran, or worse. Between 7 and 10 percent of Iran's population are of Kurdish descent, some 5 to 7 million people. Many live in the Kurdistan, Kerman Shah, and Baluchistan provinces. Kurds are Sunni Muslims. Discrimination against the Kurds has been institutionalized since the birth of the Islamic Republic. Article 12 of Iran's constitution specifically denotes it as a Shiite state, leaving followers of other religions with difficult decisions, especially for the Kurdish minority. You know, we know that Sunni Muslims are dis discriminated against by law. They are, they are not allowed to participate in their government, they're not allowed to participate in the army, and they're not allowed to to, to be part of many of these parastatal organizations because they're Sunni, simply because they're Sunni. Prohibition of the Kurdish language and closure of Kurdish newspapers manifest the state's prejudice, although they occurred even before the 1979 revolution. My name is Mosda Seifallah Azizi Babayi. I came here three years ago in hopes of a humane life. But for all the living I have done, I have not lived as a person should. I am 16 years old, and I really despise my life. I thank and pray for Jordan for housing us for the past three years. I hope to live soon and have a good life and get away from misfortune. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights has taken steps to alleviate the suffering of refugees. They offer limited food, shelter, and relocation assistance to Kurdish refugees who seek their aid. However, until there is socio-economic stability for Kurds, they continue to flee Iran at a documented rate of 15,000 or more a year, according to the UNHCR.